Hello, I'm Tom Hathaway. I'm wearing my BA hat to symbolize that anyone in an organization might do business analysis, whether or not they have the job title business analyst. So let's talk business analysis. This knowledge nugget explains the difference between a rigorous physical process model, or RPPM, and a context-level data flow diagram, or DFD. It introduces a simple yet powerful technique for converting any RPPM to a legitimate DFD and explains why this conversion is necessary. This simple technique will help you when you are the one wearing the BA hat. At the very beginning of any project, one of the most important decisions that someone has to make is what are the boundaries of this project? Or put differently, what is the project scope? With only the authority of the one wearing the BA hat, I cannot make a decision regarding the scope of the project. A project sponsor, the common title for the individual in the organization who is funding a project, or someone with similar authority has to define the project scope. To assist the decision maker in the scope discussion, a rigorous physical process model, RPPM, showing the movement of material and data through an organization is a fantastic tool. Because scope creep is a significant risk on IT projects, we not only need someone with the proper authority to define the scope, we have to represent their decision in a form that everyone involved with the project can visualize, understand, and defend. One of the simplest tools for visualizing project scope is a context-level data flow diagram, or DFD. Beyond making the project scope visible, a DFD will ultimately allow us to discover, analyze, and represent functional and non-functional requirements. Once we know the project scope, it's really easy to convert an RPPM to a context-level DFD. We just need to make some minor adjustments. Circles on an RPPM represent people or places, so they naturally have a noun name. Circles on a DFD, however, represent processes, which have a verb object name, do something to something, and are in scope for our project. People or places that are out of scope for our project are external entities represented by a square with a noun name on a DFD. This distinction is what makes the project scope stand out on a context-level DFD. Our example is based on the following notes from our initial interview with Mary, the department manager of order entry.